the whole plan to attack the monastery was some plot devised by the Western Church? That means they used Lenato. What right do they have to drag a good man like him into their schemes? This one? You're all set. This one? This one? You're all set. 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 See you again soon. Right. to spar with Gilbert of the Knights of Seros before. I couldn't get a single strike in! If that man is accompanying you on your assignment, you can rest assured that no harm will come to you. To be honest, he kind of reminds me of someone. But no, it must be my imagination, right? missing from her coffin, but they found a sword in its place. Do you think she moved from her coffin and left the sword behind? Isn't it? Do you think? Oh, you I'm already having so much...
you. Sorry that the kingdom's un- Professor. If you- The Western Church. Fodlin is a cop. <laughs> Mercedes. Her face looks- can't obtain. Are you unfamiliar with Garrig Mox Underground? The place is an absolute paradise. A stone? Yet as I think of it, the pounding in my chest grows faster still. But is that me? Or is it you? Professor, Geralt was looking for you. It seems he has gone off. If he is not in his room, then... I have something to ask of you. I have something to ask of you. You must be rather... However, know that I believe... You will most certainly fulfill the... May I ask a favor of you? May I ask a favor of you? Female knight. So. Really? No, that is quite enough. I should compose myself. I must... <sighs> the scandal with the Western Church troubles me. We cannot afford to let ourselves be swept along, and yet... Hi. Don't you think Professor Hanneman's... Maybe he's made some kind... Assassination attempt on Lady Rhea, the theft of a hero's relic. Speaking of, apparently, a spirit of death wielding a huge scythe has been kidnapping.
Bye. Professor. Professor. Oh. Hmm. Oh, Gerald? There's a graveyard attached to the mon- I can't remember where the graveyard- Graveyard. Of course I know it. It can be a little hard to find. Would you like it very well? to ask you to join me, but I couldn't find you. So, here I am. I was thinking we should visit your mother. She's resting beneath this humble grave. Hmm? Oh, of course you would ask that. I wouldn't know where to begin. I suppose I haven't talked much about her. She was gentle and smart. Oh, so smart. A wonderful cook. Always kind to everyone. And she loved flowers. Whenever I brought her back an unusual flower, her face would light up. I cherish those memories. <laughs> I can't count how many times she made me happy just by smiling. And she smiled the most when she was pregnant with you. She died right after you were born. She wasn't able to spend much time with you. But she loved you with all her heart. That's the truest thing I know. Never forget it. This ring is the only keepsake I have of her. In time, it will be yours. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Well done. You have my thanks. Loved you with all. Hey, Professor. Quite so. Wait, 
Is it swimming sideways? Perhaps... Perhaps it is resigned to its woeful fate of being plucked from the water and eaten. Ah, Professor. You are so outgoing with all of the students. I would like to have more opportunities to connect with you. Though I am certain my brother would disapprove. Seems simple enough. May I ask a question, Professor? Wow, you're a genius! Professor. It will be easier together. It's you! What a relief. Look, Professor, we did great! I think I got it. I'm getting closer. Ah, oh, it's clear to me now. Let's put this to the test. Hope this is good for something. Did I do something wrong? Thanks so much! Hot, hot, hot! Yeah! Um, what? Great!
No. Hi. This is nearly as delicious as Mother's cooking. I would happily eat this every day. Delicious? After a scrumptious... You must, however, you will most... May I ask a favor of you? I'm pleased to have been invited. I am grateful. I truly believe you can lead your students down the right path. Quickly, this delightful time has passed. However, we must return to our work. I appreciate your effort. May I ask a favor of you? Managing the Sword of the Creator. No problems? You will need the sword's power on your next. Well. Yeah. Captain Gerald, if there's a problem, I want to help any way I can. I did, but he just dodged the question. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Perhaps, ah, uh, per I would like to have more opportunities. Using maps. I'll gladly take yours. It's not. It's not my. It's. I appreciate your effort. Her face.
just don't get <clears throat> Our results speak... Seems simple enough. I've grasped it! How lovely! I am closing in on expertise. This was great!
While I have little interest in food, I will admit to a weakness for this one dish. This is a wonderful... Welcome, Professor. This is the first time I have welcomed you here, is it not? <laughs> there is no need to be nervous. Please, come closer. When you speak with me here in this room, you are not speaking with the Archbishop, but with Rhea. It's just me. <laughs> Such... <laughs> my apologies. I should not... As Gerald's kin, somehow you don't seem at all... Speaking of Gerald... May I ask if you... Hmm, is that so? I want you to know that you are free to speak. <laughs> Since you are here, by the look of it, you haven't heard much about... When I first met Gerald, he was quite young. Why, he could not even grow a full beard at that point. On one fateful occasion, the band of mercenaries he belonged to fought alongside the Knights of Saros. I was traveling with the Knights at the time, and Gerald jumped in front of an attack meant for me. He was gravely wounded, on the verge of death. I tended to his wounds in a desperate attempt to save his life. Thankfully, my efforts were not in vain. Gerald managed to escape a seemingly certain death. I made arrangements for him to receive further care at Garrick Mach. The moment he... Well, it is not a story I have often repeated. Even at the monastery, there are not many who know that. I tell you this because, to me, you are the child of the one who... And also... Never mind. It is by coming to visit with me today, you... Suffice it to say that my day is brighter than it otherwise would have been. I thank you for that. Welcome. Come back soon. What? Hmm. 
This was great! Set her face. This weather is unfortunate. Those villagers were right when they said a storm was brewing. But they were more afraid of an attack than they were of the storm. Let's end this quickly. The thieves have taken Conan Tower as their base. There it is in the distance. Niklon must be more skilled than your average thief to have overtaken a place like that. This area was the site of a massive battle several hundred years ago, when invasions from the north were at their peak. This tower was built for both surveillance and defense. It will be difficult to seize it. You know your history, Gilbert. If I recall correctly, you're from the kingdom, aren't you? I left my home long ago. If you have any questions about the mission, I'd be happy to answer them. House Gautier has always placed great importance on whether or not someone bears a crest. Margrave Gautier has two sons. A crest never manifested for his eldest. It's not hard to imagine why he left and wound up in this sort of life. There's no reason that crests should have the... Don't you agree, Gilbert? Forsaken by the goddess, who now demands his execution.
The enemy is close by. We're almost to the top floor. They have nowhere left to flee, so the situation is in our favor. All we have to do is chase them down. I will prevail! I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Stay focused. in trouble. Hurry up! Enemies approach from the lower floors. Is that I'm not set
How humiliating. This is harder than exp... Always nice. Well, I've really made this. I shouldn't strain myself.
ready. Stay focused. Each battle, a chance to grow. That's my cue. I will get the victory. Put me in there. This is harder. I will get the victory. That's my cue. Stay focused. Put me in there. Oh no. I will prevail. Myself. 
All roses have thorns. I want to be... As you wish. Here we go! Attack them from both! It's an ambush! Victory. Hard work does 
pay off. Jump. Pretty good. Time to set my... Could have at least tried. I s Can I go now? I think 
his hard work. I'm no stranger to battle. Not lose. Be mindful. Should I have held back? 
I'm not setting it. Stay focused. Not bad for your kind. A bunch of spoiled, rotten children.
this your first time fighting such a thing? Then listen well to what I say. An evil power has caused them to grow quite large. Their life force is beyond a mortal like yourself. You cannot win unless you fell them twice, or even thrice. Even if you've cornered one, you cannot let your guard down. Those things are even worse when threatened. Can you see that barrier? It is surrounded by great power. You must break through to fight that thing. A strong attack or gambit might help to break through more quickly. If you can break the barrier, that power will have nowhere else to go, and that will likely cause confusion for that thing. It cannot counter while well confused, which means that is the best time to attack. If you break down all of their barriers, not only will they be confused, they will not be able to move for a short while. Without the power flowing around them, they will not be able to restore their barriers. You might even be able to get something from them. They have such might that they will not fear you alone. But a battalion could prove useful on that front. Attack them with a gambit to draw their attention and force them to target you. Be on your guard when they have realized their full power. The damage caused at times like that is not contained to just one spot. Once they have charged some power up, their barriers will be restored. You really must pay close attention to those things. Distract them with a gambit or just take them down before they can attack. In any case, think carefully before you act. But you should be conquering that thing instead of talking to me. If you're out of questions, get over there and fight! Such is the fate of one whose life is corrupted by a crest stone. How pitiable. The least we can do is put an end to his suffering.
useless. I'd like to take it easy. Goddess, the beast is gone, yet Miklon and the Lance remain. It is done. Let's retrieve the Lance and depart at once. was swallowing him whole. Upon that side, it makes sense that your students were upset. I wonder if those relics truly hide such power. Yet even still, that power seems familiar. That form as well. As one who wields the sword of the Creator, does that mean you possess that power too? Professor, you have returned. The goddess is indeed generous with her divine protection. I have already heard Gilbert's report about what happened. See to it that you keep what transpired at the tower to yourself. People would lose faith in the nobles should rumors spread of one using a relic and transforming into a monster. All regions of Fodland would fall into chaos. We must avoid that at all costs. Please ensure the students who accompanied you understand that as well. Have I made myself clear? His transformation into a black beast was nothing short of divine punishment from the goddess. Punishment for someone arrogant and foolish enough to use a hero's relic even though they were unworthy and unqualified. Of course. That is why we rushed to recover it. Sadly, we did not arrive in time. The Church will formally return the Lance to House Gautier, if you would. You have my gratitude. I can see that I was right to trust you with this. Please report back. I will tell you of your new mission for the coming moon at that time. I assume the Archbishop was pleased with your performance. Did you return the Lance of Ruin? I keep thinking about what Gilbert told us. Yes, Miklon was discarded by his family because he was born without a crest. Eventually, he became a masterful thief and gathered enough ruffians to capture a fortress. Right or wrong, he was a gifted leader. 
He could have been a great asset to Fodlan. What a waste! It's true that a crest can increase your magical abilities and allow you to wield the full might of a hero's relic. But one cannot measure a leader's worth based solely on whether or not they bear a crest. There are plenty of talented people in this world without one. People believe crests are blessings from the goddess, that they're necessary to maintain order in Fodlin. But the people are wrong. Crests are to blame for this brutal, irrational world we live in. Their power is granted only to a select few, whom we elevate and allow to rule the world. Have you ever wondered if the only way to create a truly free world is to dispense with the goddess and the crests? Do that, and people will have no choice but to rise and fall by their own merits. Lady Edelgard? I question whether you revealed too much to the Professor. Perhaps I did. It is true that our teacher possesses a rare talent. Even I cannot deny it. The ability to wield the Sword of the Creator is concerning. I've already explained this to you. My power alone is insufficient. That's why I'm borrowing power from those people. If our teacher can wield it in my stead, I believe that would be for the best. It's a risk. A dangerous one. You leave me no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Please excuse me. I can't hide from the truth. I can't do all that I must on my own. If all I can rely on is my own ambition, my path won't be easy. Is it so risky to reach out my hand? Father, I swear I will not stop until I succeed. My regret, my grief, my whole life, I've thrown it all away into the darkness. Professor, you have done well to complete such a difficult task. You have shown exceptional skill in leading your students. I am forever grateful for the safe return of the hero's relic. Just as I expected, you have mastered the sword of the creator. <laughs> now then, I shall tell you about your mission for the coming month. Re Archbishop! Seteth, what troubles you? Flane is missing. I cannot find her anywhere. Professor, have you seen Flane recently? I have searched everywhere. Where could she be? She may be in danger. Oh no, 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 what am I to do? Calm yourself, Sedith. Professor, we shall continue our discussion another time. Part 1. White Clouds. Horsebow Moon. Rumors of a Reaper. As cold air begins to creep in from the north of Fargus, Fodlin welcomes the riches of fall. The women spend their days reaping the golden fields, gratefully embracing the bounty the goddess has once again provided. The men venture into the wilds with horse bows and empty sacks ready to be filled with game. As I believe you are already aware, Sedith's younger sister Flane has gone missing. At present, all we know for certain is that she has not left Garrick Mach. Flane is not the type of person to just wander off on her own without telling me where she is going. We have searched the monastery thoroughly, 
but have found nothing. I am now mobilizing the knights to begin searching the town. Troubling rumors have been running rampant lately. I do not wish to... There are rumors of someone prowling the streets and attacking innocents night after night. The knights have investigated the matter. They have not just... The people are panicked. They all insist someone called the Death Knight. There is no way she could have escaped unscathed. Seteth, recall that impatience begets error. Please, I think of your sister. You have my support. We will... Professor, your mission... The Knights have the town covered, so I ask we do not have time to waste. Flame has gone missing? It doesn't seem likely that she's simply gotten lost. I'll help in any way that I can. So, our mission this month is to find her? Well then, let us hurry and locate her before anyone else. I hope Flame is okay. What would happen if... Just, what would we do if... You can't think like that, Burn. Sedeth would have a heart attack if he heard you. I've heard that she has a crest. But I suppose for this moment that is irrelevant. We'll start by gathering information. Someone must have seen Flame recently. Right. If we work together, I'm certain we'll find her. You have my thanks for giving me your spare time. I have gratitude. Delicious. What? <laughs> yes. I am not in agreement. What? Yes. I will be waiting happily for you to be inviting me again. girl who's gone astray has caused all this. We cannot let this stand. Now ask around to see what it Petra, would you pause a moment? Yes? Are you wanting something? I was observing your spear work, and I wonder if you don't think your transitions are sloppy. The way you move your arm before a strong thrust... Which arm? My... I think the right... I am not understanding. Demonstrate? But I must... Or are you unable to do? And you can... I am more of a theorist than a... Then... Please advise again. It's all quite simple. Sometimes you make a big stab downwards, right? Before that, you lift up. At that point, you sort of let the tension go and stop. It ruins the momentum of the stab. It's the arm movement that's extraneous. Calculate the locus of the spear and the elasticity of the muscles. Locus? Please. If you are showing me, I will learn it with quickness. I won't waste your time with such demonstrations. You're a smart one, Petra. You'll sort it out. Besides, I need to go now. I... Linhardt only likes talking. It is on myself to prevail. La 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 la. Such lovely weather for painting. Bernadetta? Just me, Linhart. What are you doing? Painting! 
painting. Just painting. Not important. Am I in your way? I'm in your way. I'll just go. I'm going. No need for all that. I just came out here to read. I'll stay quiet and still so as not to bother you. How's that? If you want to go, that's fine too. Um, no. I'll stay. Say, aren't you usually holed up inside? Ah, I'm sorry! I'm sorry for coming here! I'm sorry for bothering you! Mad, aren't you? You look really mad! I'll just pack up! I'll be gone before you know it! Mad? At you? Never. I rather admire you, in fact. I fantasize about shutting myself in my room and never going outside again. It sounds like paradise. However, I wouldn't be able to perform my research. That, Bernadetta, is a problem. What? You admire me, so you want to copy me as well. I've got you figured out. What? That's not... Uh, this is too much hassle. I'm leaving. Dorothea, the dining hall seems so much brighter with you here. Ferdy, I must say you are quite adept with flattery. Please, give me some more. Flattery? No, I was not... <sighs> there you go with that attitude again. Why do you reserve such cold treatment for me and me alone? Do you hate me, Dorothea? Or have you some other reason to avoid my company? I underestimated you. I assumed your noble upbringing had dulled your perception. But you got it right on your first try. I hate you. Huh, I was right. Might I ask why you find me so despicable? I can scarcely guess. Don't waste another minute thinking about it. That will not do. I do not think you would hate a person for no reason. Hmm, perhaps. How's this? If you can guess why, I'll let you know if you're right. The brains of us common folk are so simple, it should be pretty easy for a big shot noble to sort out. <sighs> Very well. I cannot walk away from a challenge. I have no choice but to chance a guess. You are always making fun, calling me a big shot and so forth. Perhaps you think all nobles are... No, it cannot be that simple. Oh? <laughs> what can't be that simple? Uh, please, will you not give me a clue? Well, let me see. A good clue? That ought to be enough of a clue. So long, Ferdy. A bee? I haven't the slightest. Perhaps because I am such a diligent worker? <laughs> It, don't I? Consider that? Come to think of it, where is her room anyway? This was 
feels great. Let's see. Tradition, but with things at any rate. Hey. A beautiful, delicate maiden vanishing into thin. If it were a book, we would have no need to worry. Do you have any idea as to where she might be? Where she might have wandered off to? That is what I. I can eat so much of this stuff. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. Someone really kidnapped her. I'll never forgive them. Now that I think about it, I saw Aloise hanging out by the pond not too long ago. He was always getting into trouble for trying to talk to Flame, you know? It's probably a crazy thought, but I'm starting to worry. say anything for sure. There's something about how he's handling his blade lately. It couldn't hurt to try speaking with him at least. At this hour, I think you'll find him sparring with... Huh? Ow! Ingrid just about slapped the teeth out of my head. All I did was suggest that Flane might have eloped. Insensitive. I was just... She ran off or got kidnapped or what? I that's it. I can't keep where do I start? Hello there. Hey. To think that Flame would disappear like I haven't much to go off of, but something has been bothering me for a while. I also noticed him staring intently at a net once. Professor? Professor? Greetings, Professor. 
Today, there is quite a bit to report. There is a masked individual who has been going into... You see? Nothing gets past this guy. What brings you here? Hey there, Professor! What? Me! Abduct Flame! You can't really believe I did! Well, this mate I was too scared to even look. A challenge. Oh. Flane's gone mi if it were an ordinary kidnapping, you'd think there'd be a dimension. Lane ran away. She, I can empathize. Hello? We must begin our search. For, if she ran off of her own free will, for her sake, I suggest we assume that she was abducted. Who benefits from kidnapping her? Let's gather all the information. I have a favor to ask. I have thoroughly surveyed the entire monastery. Perhaps we must seek out personal recounts rather than physical. I've heard the monastery is if there is no sign of flame, whatever has happened. Where could Flame have gone? I hear Tomas has been going around asking about, but he's probably just. Though it wasn't just Flame, he was asking about. taken hostage, I expect perhaps this is not a kidnapping at all. Do you suppose she could have simply run away? What could it be then? What? Flame? No, I haven't seen her. She's been abducted. Oh, you're looking for her. Sorry, my mind was somewhere else. I just recently learned she has a crest. Did you know that, Professor? If it was a particularly rare crest, I could imagine... Oh, no, I'm not accusing Professor Hanneman of abducting Flane. Professor! Hmm. Young Flane's disappearance is most troubling. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you who. A fool, that's who. Flane's crest, the major crest of Sethleen, is rare, but there are others who possess it. might be the first time I've ever seen Seteth look so worn down, if poor Flane was lured away by anyone. I personally think the clear suspect is that miscreant from Dusker. Those people are deceptive by nature. If Flane has been taken hostage, then we know she is alive. At least for now. 
There would be no point to abducting her if simple murder was the objective. That's only logical, Professor. Professor! I can't believe Flame just... Oh, are you here? Alois and Shamir and all the night... I can't... Oh, Alois... imagine how worried Sedeth must be, but I was originally assigned to investigate those reports of the... When I think how many more victims that dastard might claim... <sighs> I'm sorry, that was insensitive. We're... You don't think Flame was, you know, whether the rumors are true or not. I've only ever spoken to Flame a handful. She always seems so naive about the ways of the world. I'm worried about her. What makes you say that? Do you really think Flame was kidnapped? Do you think she ran off on her own? Flame was childnapped. That is what you are thinking? Hmm. I must have admittance. Shamir is a knight not like other knights. Her movements are being rem before she was here. Professor, I saw her running off somewhere. I wonder if it has anything to do with Flame's disappearance. Oh, yes. Didn't you know? She was... Professor! Professor! I saw him. A knight. He was just like the rumors say. All covered in jet black armor. It was the Death Knight! You don't think he has something to do with Flame's disappearance, do you? you here is this about flane you find me suspicious <laughs> i was somewhere else fighting i understand that i don't fit in among the night but that hardly links me to flane. Data. What's going on? Ah, enemy! Enemy's here! We're under attack! Help! I'm the one who came here for help. Well, I guess I'll just... I can't believe I got hurt trying to break up someone else's fight. It's ridiculous. All I do is step in to calm them down, and the next thing you know, they're both at my throat. Hey, you ever been in a fight? Fight? You're challenging me to a duel? No, 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 I can't! I've never fought anyone in all my life! I surrender! You win! Uh, alright. That was easy enough. Not to be rude, but do you ever think that maybe your attitude makes you a little unapproachable? You should try stepping outside and socializing. I'm sure you'd make friends in no time if you didn't waste it all in here. Outside? In no time? Well, maybe it's just not as easy for me as it is for you. Did that ever cross your mind? Why wouldn't it be? Making friends is easy. This one time, I even made friends with someone I'd just been in a fight with. 
I think it was the gorgeous view that did it. <laughs> uh, we really shared a moment. Come on, let's go check it out. Uh, uh, hold on! What are you doing? Uh, please don't touch me! Ah, put me down! Put me down! Calm down. I'm just gonna carry you out of here. Easy does it. And here we are. See? So this is what death is like. Didn't expect it to be so sudden. Come and claim me, sweet death. Hey, now don't go dying on me, Bernadetta. It's just the sun. Huh? What? Where am I? Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> Professor. Professor? Did you hear about Flame? Some of the lower ranked knights are searching for her. What? Yuritsa? <laughs> what would make you suspect him? I see. Well, I... was inevitable. Something the matter? I will do what I can. Hmm? It seems that you are a bit suspicious of me. Might I ask your reasons? I was away from the monastery. I have spent more than four decades, yet it was not until recently that I learned. It is only natural to be curious. A moment. Kim oh, Aloise. Oh, Aloise. Thanks, Professor.
closer. What the? Hello. Professor. Impressive. Nice work. But at search, it makes you there are frag. Dear goddess, please watch your um may I ask a favor? Professor, and I have looked everywhere. Not even the knights on guard have. Yes. Let us work together. May the goddess protect, dear. What?
like to hide out in the greenhouse, but I always have to leave eventually. No place to sleep. Um, what? This was great! Hey there. If she ran for her hoop, let's gather. It will be easier. It's you. Look, Professor. I'm getting closer. Another fine 
one day, alone in my room, and plenty of books to read. Bernadetta? I um, what? I didn't do anything. No need to be defensive. I am not angry. Oh, you definitely are. I can tell. Just get it over with. What did I do? You did not do anything wrong. Please, listen. Look, just breathe, will you? Can't breathe? You scared? I see that you are struggling. Please calm down. <sighs> Easy for you to say. I just wanted to discuss how you are always... It seems like something must be trouble. If something is the matter, maybe I can help. But you need to tell me what it is first. No, uh, no thanks. I'm fine. See, I'm breathing out. <laughs> you fixed me. Can I go? Do you not realize that life is passing you by? Have you no desire to venture beyond this reclusive lifestyle? There is a whole world waiting for you out there. The social life of a noble is actually rather... Just stop it! I'm not interested! Bernadetta, this is unhealthy behavior. I beg you to take my hand. Otherwise, I will have to pick you up and carry you and neither of us will... What am I actually like being alone? Is that so hard to imagine? It's none of your business! Get lost! Oh. oh no! Uh, ouch! Oh no, 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 no! Now you've done it, Bernie. Now you're his eternal rival. I do not wish to hurt you. Actually, I... No! I'm done for! Maybe I should just come back later. <laughs> If two people decide to be recluses together, does that even still count? Thank 
This was great! Delicious. on it now. She appears young, yet there's something about her that seems much older than her years suggest. And she's a ghost? Miss <laughs> Flane's whereabouts? We do not seem... I am one of the... Well, hopefully I can lay your suspicions to rest. Do you know of my... let's call it... I was once a knight. If Ingrid believes she saw me before, Annette is... She is my... But no. Because of Flane's... But we haven't found a single... What's that? 
You're looking for Manuel? She was carrying something. A mask of some sort. Are you feeling all right? Because of fl but we haven't fit. What's that? She was carrying something. I'm not close to the guy. Professor. That is all I can ask. Please, Len, she would never have left. with Yuritsa's mask? Hmm. We'll have to speak with both of them. But where could Manuela be? Yuritsa is likely at the training grounds, or in his quarters on the eastern side of the Knight's Hall. Some of the what? What would make you suspect him? I see. I still have much to learn. Did you? Some of what? What would make you? I see. with Yuritsa's mask? Hmm. We'll have to speak with both of them. But where could Manuela be? Yuritsa is likely at the training grounds, or in his quarters on the eastern side of the Knight's Hall. Professor! 
Hey there. Professor. Hello. Professor? Oh? What brings you? Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. I, I understand, but that heart. Let's see. 